What's going on, folks? YouTube's best kept secret, the leader of the Wolf Pack himself, K Spade the Prospect. I'm back with my Miami Hurricane NCAA football series for you guys. In the last video, we showed you some offseason stuff. It was some big name blue chip recruits that we went after. We got a few. A few of them got away from us. And now we're in the preseason ready to launch into this next season. So this is a very important part of the year. This is where we cut players, red shirt players, set the depth chart, uh, build our like recruiting list. I don't know what they call it, like recruiting board or whatnot. So all this stuff is really important. Clearly, I got my own strategy. I don't know if my strategy is right, though, y'all. Y'all been watching this series. How many seasons are we in? Three? Three or four seasons? And I've really, I've been kind of lackluster on the recruiting end. So this year, I'm going to try, you know, some other things. So first, what I do is I go through and I look at the top 100 kids in the nation. And anybody who has interest, you know, you'll have the little green, uh, you know, target bar, whatever you want to call it. Anybody who has interest, they're going to add it to the recruiting board, regardless of their position, regardless of our needs. I'm kind of doing that best available thing. But after that, we're going to go and check and see what the team needs. Clearly, we need a center <laughs> on the offensive end. We're going to look and see what we need. I don't know why I got 10 wide receivers. Some, somebody getting cut, though. Don't even worry about it. On the defensive end, we need some backers. All right? Cool. So now that I know that, now I'm just going to look at total recruits of that complete list of recruits in the past i only was going after kids that had miami high on their target list and we still was losing them to all kinds of schools in the nation so if we can lose a kid who started the year off wanting to be a hurricane then damn i guess anything is possible right like kevin garnett says so this year i'm going after whoever now this is miami and miami is known for speed this year i will definitely be recruiting speed I'm not paying too much attention to their stars. I still want five-star players and four-star players, but I'll take a fast-as-hell two-star player. I really will. So right now, I'm doing some scouting. You really have to do this because a lot of these guys end up not being as well. You know how it is. Coming out of high school, you get somebody to make that dark going highlight reel tape for you. you really six foot two. Your highlight reel tape say you're six five. You know, yeah. You got to go through and you got to weed through all that. You got to find out what's real. So I did quite a bit of scouting. And as you can see, man, a lot of people uh, didn't pan out to be exactly what they said they were, or especially in the speed department, which is important to me this year. I guarantee y'all, by the time I'm through with this team, we're going to be the fastest team on the planet. That's my word. I'm going to have so much speed on this team, it's going to be scary. Now, I was talking to one of the subscribers on Twitter. I keep forgetting. I told this guy to remind me. He said he got me. At the end of this season, I will be hitting up some of the guys to support the series in the comment section. I'm going to be taking your names, and I'm going to be creating um, recruits in, in your guys' likeness. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm putting y'all in this series. That's going to be dope. Now, I can't guarantee y'all you're going to be a cane, and if you don't be a cane, we're probably going to whoop y'all ass. That's what we're going to try to do anyway. But anyway, let's get to it. This is Red Shirting. Once again, to me, this is a really big part of it because you want to take the younger kids if they're not going to play. I say younger, but really sometimes they're not even all the time freshmen. It could be a sophomore. Now, I don't like the red shirt juniors and seniors. I've seen it done before. I wouldn't do it because I just to me that's unrealistic. In real life, if I'm in college and I'm playing sports, I'm a junior or a senior, and ain't no way you're going to red shirt me. Really, you probably ain't going to red shirt me as a sophomore. I just transfer. I go somewhere else. But, you know, I'm a little more lenient here. I got a lot of guys on this wide receiver list uh, that sophomores right here. You can see this just not going to play. That little, that dude, I think his name is Chad Little, 93 speed, 6'6". Six six. He's going to be a beast. Uh, Martin Moore is 6'3", 228. He's 93 speed. We sitting these guys down. We want them to watch from the sideline this year, learn as much as they can. They're going to come in next year. Like I said, we building. I still think we're a couple of years off, and that's pretty bad because if this is our third or fourth season, they're not black and light hell. But I've been kind of doing bad with recruiting. We we work good on the field, but off the field, the recruiting hasn't been that well. We're going to fix it this year. But we still got some young talent that we're not quite ready to debut, but when they get on the field, it's going to be scary. Look at these defensive tackles. Now, the two freshmen, they redshirt freshmen, but I redshirted those guys last year. You can see what I'm saying about the backers. I got a lot of guys that's already been redshirted. That's just how we're going to do it down here at Miami. You're going to get that red shirt, fam, unless you come in and you're an absolute stud. Or you come in at a position where we just so frail, we need to throw you right out on the field. All right? I think the red shirt is over. I've already cut the players that I needed to cut. Let's get into the depth chart. 
Now, I'm not going to show y'all offensive linemen and stuff like that. That doesn't matter. But look at the speed that we putting on the field this year. I don't know if you saw the quarterback speed. Those dudes are fast as hell. Uh, you know, running back, you know what we bringing back. It's pretty sad that really the best fullback on my team is a right guard. Now, I'm not going to play that guy fullback, but that's pretty damn sad. We probably going to have to do some recruiting. It's always been that way in this game. Like, if y'all playing it, you know what I'm talking about. Kickers, punters, um, and fullbacks. They just tough to recruit. Like, you don't really get talent at those positions. So, usually what you have to do is get, especially at fullback, you probably want to get a um, an athlete and make him a fullback. I ain't going to do that. It ain't that serious to me. All I need him to be able to do is block. I don't care about nothing else. And you got to be great at that. Just, just hug somebody. Bite them. Hold them. I don't give a damn. I take the flag. Anyway, receivers is going to be a big deal this year. As you guys can see, man, uh, I don't know if y'all know it, but Derek Clark, you see All-American under his name, John Rice, both of those guys was freshmen for us last year. They both are preseason All-Americans this year, and expectation is up. Now, Lawrence Cage is the older guy. He's got the experience, but he's so slow, so slow. So probably what we're going to do is put Rice in the slot. Y'all know me. I like speed. In my slot, if I can't get speed, I want like supreme route running. That it's got to be one or the other. I really wanted to work Ray Lewis Jr. into the lineup this year. It don't look like it's gonna quite happen. He won't be a starter, but I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way to get him on the field, y'all. He's gonna play special teams. He's gonna back up a couple of linebacker positions. If anybody goes down, if anybody gets tired, we're gonna get this young man reps. I believe he's gonna be a stud, regardless of the fact that his stats don't look that crazy. The corners, you know what to expect there. Like I said, my, my secondary didn't change too much, which is really good. We got all the guys from last year back. We got Redwine. We got Irvin. We got Johnson. All those dudes are back. They all back. All right, so look. That's going to be... Oh, look at our kick return too, man. We're putting Sheldrick back there. He's a 99 kick return. I never knew that. He should have been back there last year. But we're putting him and John Rice back there for kick return. That's the depth chart. Let's move on to the next part of the offseason. You know what? I like y'all so much, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to give y'all a game today, too. Because y'all looking at this and you thinking to yourself, man, this team look like they ready. Things are going to change this year, y'all. Things are going to change. So we're going to go ahead and start the season up. This is where we'll get a chance to see. And I got to stop going ahead, too. Y'all going to kill me about this. But I already played ahead. So I'm two or three games in the season. I saw y'all saying, set your schedule up, you know, set up a game with this person or that person. I can't tell you guys I did all that. I did set up a game with Notre Dame. I want to get this whole Catholics and convicts thing going back. I hate, I hate Notre Dame in real life. I hate Ohio State in real life. So those teams I don't mind playing. I would also like to revive the rivalry against the Gators. I mean, that once upon a time, that was a rivalry. Those two teams don't really play that often anymore. I would like to play the Gators, get them that work. Of course, you know we're going to play Florida State. But let's move ahead. So the first game of this season is going to be against Toledo. It was set up that way on purpose. We're doing some different things this year, y'all. We're going to utilize the speed that we got at quarterback. So we're going to do some spread option stuff, uh, you know, read option, triple option. We're not going to stay heavy in that like Georgia Tech, but I want to open the playbook up. We got option plays, which is never random. We will this year, and I don't want to try out new plays against a stud team. You kind of want a little easy game to build confidence with your players as well as try out some of this new stuff. Now, I don't know if you guys saw it, but preseason polls had us 11. We was rated a D on special teams. That's a little concerning. We do have a Heisman hopeful, though. Mark Walton definitely getting the start this year. He showed signs last year that he deserved to be the starter. Jarvis Williams just got bumped back. It happens. You know, it happens. You got to produce. So Mark Walton is expected to do big things this year. We're going to look at the preseason All-Americans. And, man, Miami, we look deep out there, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Manny Diaz got them boys looking right. Okay, I see you. That was the first team. Second team, not as much love on the offensive side as I want to see. Defensively, though, the Kings, we brought back, we returned a lot of players. So that's what that means, and I'm all right with that. Now, we go all ACC. We should be all over this board. We still don't really have a lot of people on the offensive end. Not even on second team. Okay, so we got a lot to prove on offense this year. Brad Kai is gone. Braxton Berrios is gone. I get it. I get it. We'll be all right, though. I don't care what they say. We're going to be okay. But I guess that's all I got for this video, man. I promise you guys I'm going to go ahead and drop a gameplay tonight too. I want you guys to see the game versus Toledo. So come through, man. Show love. 
If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, leave a like. If you new, hit subscribe. And if you know anybody else that love the Canes like we love the Canes, I just want to see a good old-fashioned NCAA football game. Tell them about this channel, y'all. This is our year. We're going hard this year. All right, y'all. I'm out the next time. Peace.